So, we've been exploring Orange Oasis. You know, I guess the reason why it's called Orange Oasis because... Well, maybe not the only reason, but... I, I assume this is orange soda, you know? Right here. This pond water is so clear. It's like I can see a whole another world on the other side. Actually, it is glowing. It's shimmering. You want to stare at it intently? I feel like this is going to teleport me to another world. I don't want to interact with anything anymore. Hold on. I'm, I feel like I'm just moving too fast, you know? I really want to just go back because before I forget, you know? Before I forget, I want to go back real quick. And finish the quests I haven't done yet. So that would be the, the Pessy quest. Which, as it turns out, I think is connected to the Mayor's Son quest, right? So I want to do that real quick. Just so it doesn't uh, stay uncompleted for so long. I don't know, it just feels wrong. I don't know why. It, it feels like I forgot to like pick up my, my clothes, you know, from the ground and put it in the laundry basket or something. That's, what, that's the same feeling that I have for this side quest. It's just... It's just there, you know, it's not done. Why I wanted to finish it, you know? It irks me to have things unfinished for so long. Oh, um, oh here you go. Okay, yeah, this 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 problem has like a, a speech bubble on top of him. Oh, this tradies may be so hungry. I really wish I had some tofu right now. Alright, here's some tofu then. There you go. Wow, thank you for the tofu. I really needed that. In return, here's my most prized possession. Please take care of it. Okay, I got big air horn? Hmm, this doesn't really help me, I feel like. How is this gonna help me find the mayor's son and therefore find Pessy's, like, precious thing? I have no idea. Oh. Did I ever see you before? I don't remember seeing you before. But I guess this is the sleeping sprout mole. And probably it's on the bed, you know, the BED? It was mentioned before, you know, someone invented the bed. <laughs> or whatever. No one ever had a bed yet in this village. Wake up! MLG! Who are you? Oh no, I'm late! Could it be that I... No. I must have overslept. But Sprout Moles don't oversleep. This BED, it's... it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I better tell Dad about this. Woo! Okay, that's the mayor's son. Gosh, I was so confused how to progress that quest for so long. <laughs> I did have to look it up. Anyway, uh... Okay, where's the mayor? Look over here. I didn't, I didn't remember, because I, I I guess I didn't connect the dots, or maybe I didn't see the, the bed before or something? I don't know. Anyway, well, here we are. Oh, Dad, Adam here! We. By the gods, son, where have you been? I... I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know you can tell me anything. Last night, while I was testing the BED, I... 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 Overslept! Oh no, it can't be. If what you said is true, then... All my research, this invention, this BED, it's all too powerful! You see... My theory was that a BED would help Sprout Moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the day. But what good is it if the very same invention causes Sprout Moles to lose productivity instead? The BED has the potential of greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again! Hey, you there. Child, take this BED away from us. We have no need for such power. You got a bed. Good. Good. Now be gone, and speak not of what you saw here today. Okay. But, I like the bed. Oh well. Nobody's allowed to sleep ever again. Oh, well, I guess technically they did sleep, except they sleep on the ground or something? I don't know. Uh, they they should have invented like an alarm clock or something, you know? That's what they should invent instead. But I finally got the BED. I keep saying it BED, even though it's, it's, just, it's just a bad, but <laughs> that's the joke. 
aka the better exhaustion destroyer oh yes yeah, so is, that, is that what it stands for D do my eyes deceive me i don't believe it it's a bed a real genuine a genuine bona fide bed i'm gonna use it right the second hey what are you doing we helped you so you should help us whoa 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 what's with all this attitude it may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a pink, a bit with a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. A sprout mole with a big pink bow. Well, we know that one. That sounds like Rosa. Now the menace Rosa's at it again. Come on, Amori. We gotta make her. Uh, we gotta make her hand over Pessy's thing, no matter what. Alright, we gotta find Rosa this time. Hey, Gakko. BED is cooler, though. Yeah, it's BED. Everything sounds better with acronyms, I guess. It's like, uh... It's like the M16, you know? Or the AK-47, or whatever. Mostly guns, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so we gotta find Rosa. Where, what, well, where would Rosa be, though? I don't know where Rosa be. I'm om I'm almost done, but I gotta find I gotta find Rosa? But where is Rosa? Where the heck is Rosa? I mean the last time we saw her, she would be at the Sweetheart's Castle, right? Oh, and the hole got repaired, by the way. That's funny. Because he, he fell down there. That's how you progress the story. Um, I guess I mean we can't go back, I guess. We can try going back. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Go down. Um, and we might as well be here because, uh, I do want to find, like, a ghost, I think. There is a ghost we haven't, uh, talked to yet that could maybe help, uh, requests or whatever. What's over here? What the heck? I don't remember going inside here before. Or who are you? Le Gasp! Could it be? Ah, uh, finally. Some company. <laughs> I've been alone for so long, but after what feels like an eternity, at last, I have an audience. Good. Who am I, you ask? Why, I am the greatest upcoming artist, Orokoko. This guy is kind of weird. Let's get out of here. All right, sit down. Wait, don't go. Please listen to my story. Excuse us. Please listen, I'm so lonely. Ahem. Right. Now where should I start? In the beginning was me, crying in the pod in the middle of space, witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. Just like in, you know, Dragon Ball Z or something. I don't know. Or like Goku was like launched from planet Saiyan or something. What was it called? Planet Vegeta? <laughs> I can still remember it all so vividly. Fire. Fire. Everywhere. And then darkness. And also, I guess Superman. Isn't that like the origin story of Superman as well? Or something from... Uh, when I woke, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar. In a strange land, I soon learned to be called the Orange Oasis. Oh yeah, we just, we just came from there. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species. The last elf in the entire universe. You're an elf? So this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young donut, but a name of a sweetheart. Huh. Hey, we did just learn that, actually, that sweetheart was a donut. She brought me to her family and took me in as one of her own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. Oh, childhood friend. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win. If I fought back, well... Anyway, I learned to run, and I got good, quite good at running, but there's only so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time, but even though that suffering, or even through that suffering, I stood firm, because even then I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet to survive for one reason, and one reason only, to repopulate my entire series. Uh, 
entire species. I would say series for some reason. It's like repop, like remake my entire anime series. No, repopulate my entire species. Um, good. There, there's a conspicuous gap in memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. Okay. At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I. We loved each other very dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together, to grow old, and to raise hundreds upon hundreds of donut children. Hmm, think about it now, I wonder if it ever made that clear to her. Anyway, continuing my own story, alas, all good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fan base grew, she and I grew apart as well. She became a TikTok influencer and became obsessed with getting views and subscribers. She began receiving gifts and letters and from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. And then she NTR'd me. <laughs> so, one night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and seen me, against inside, or seen me inside the walls of her castle. I've been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since, surviving old, off old toast and tofu. Fast forward a few more years and that brings us to now. Yes, you four, the first living beings I've seen since that fateful day. Uh, wow, sir. That's really, um, uh, shocking. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Why did you do it? Oh, was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're gonna go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet. Darn. Uh, for the last few years, I've had a long, long time to think. I kind of gave up on my dreams and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. Hmm, that's a horrible decision. Uh, and since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clams. Alright, we're leaving. Goodbye. Well, what do you guys think? 1,000 clams is kind of steep, isn't it? Please commission me! I'm a starving artist on Twitter! We... uh... we'll think about it. Ah, yes, yes, of course. Do you take your time. Can I leave? I don't want to commission this artist. They seem to be... They seem to have gone insane in, the, in these walls for many years. I will stand right here until then. Alright, see ya. Simple hutan. The sheets are cheap, lumpy, and have many holes. Hmm. Cheap paints. Buckets of paint. Hmm. They seem to be blank canvases, so I don't know. But first, I'll show you 1,000 clams. Nah. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'm sure someone else will recognize that true artist when they see you one. Bye. Don't keep me waiting! <laughs> Bye. Okay, fine. I mean... Where's your portfolio, buddy? I gotta see some previous work. Otherwise, I'm not paying for something unless I know what your art style is like. Okay? Okay? Also, uh, you, gotta, you gotta write a contract, otherwise, this is not gonna work out, buddy. Okay, fine. Le Magnificent! Or, I don't know how you say it. Le, le Magnificent! <laughs> like Magnificent? Magnificent? Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. Okay, fine. I, I got an achievement. I won't disappoint you! Alright, good. Amazing. Here you go. Oh dear, it seems that I got myself lost again. How clumsy of me. Gave a spooky map to the princess goes. Oh my, what's this? A map to Sir Top Hat's party? Uh, I must hurry to the party now. Being late is unbefitting of a princess. Spooky. Spooky ghost goes to spooky party. Alright, I guess that's it. 
Mm, here's Maestro. Maestro is like the butler for Rosa, right? I mean, if he if he's nearby, then Rosa should be nearby somewhere, right? Hmm. Where is she? All right. I guess that's it for the sweetheart castle, unless maybe I'm, I miss Rosa somewhere. I really don't know where she would be. It's not much of a hint, you know. He just said like he he simply said that Rosa has the precious thing. Uh, I really believe I may have seen Star Wars being while thinking through Pale's Pale's pockets. Yeah, that's it. Man, that's not very helpful at all, because I don't know where Rosalie would even be. We did be here a, a few times in the story, but... I don't know where she lives. <laughs> hmm. I mean, does she live around here, maybe? I, nah, I didn't see her, though. Or living around here. The last time we saw Rosa was like when we were sent to the dungeon and then she's like bragging, you know, she was boasting about that fact, you know, because she had like a, like a very uh, silly looking disguise and then she left and that's it, you know, and then never saw her ever again. I don't know. Anyway, what else can I do? Let's see. Hmm, ghost party, present for Palmy. Strange request. Oh yeah, there was a TV girl that mentioned something about the uh, finding like stuff at like the junkyard. Hmm. Man, that's kind of disappointing because I'm still like stuck. <laughs> I can't figure out how to find Pessy's thing. Well. Well, whatever. I'll I'll go back to it, I guess. I was hoping to finish that quest not worry about it anymore but that doesn't seem to be the case so instead we're going back to orange oasis maybe is there anything else i want to go to i'm trying to think any other like ghosts that we met well there was one in other world right wasn't there one uh near the the frozen lake was it so sure why not let's go back to other world and since we're going to the other world, I guess we'll maybe try to do the TV girl quest. You should set something to go to the junkyard or something. They have a bunch of parts. So I don't know how that works exactly. Bum, 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 bum. Is Rosa over here? No, Rosa's not there. So I don't see Rosa. You know, since I'm here, actually, you know, there's a little cool little Easter egg, I believe, uh, that I didn't notice. You know, if we play piano with Amori, he he did the same things before. I guess I'll just show it. You know, it's like do 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 do. He doesn't seem to be very good at piano. You know, seems okay, but it's like he's only doing the melody, right? So it's not that great. But you can actually change your party members, and then they would do different uh, songs. I think. Okay, that's Kel. That's Kel's song. Uh, I wonder what Aubrey sounds like. Does she know how to play piano? Hmm. Isn't that the song? That's that's the song that uh, Hero played, right? In real life? Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. But what about Hero? I mean, Hero, we saw him in real life play piano, so he's probably good at playing piano. Oh, there you go. He, he gets the best song. At least the most professional song. Anyway, that's just like a small thing. A little small little Easter egg. Uh, let's see here. And there was like a ghost around here. Yep, I, I remember. This doesn't look right. I must have taken the wrong turn somewhere. Gave a spooky map. Well, this is a map? Oh my, even has top hat seal. Now we would get to the party. 
Thank you, children. I must go now. I'm already behind the schedule as it is. There you go. I wonder if there's even more ghosts. Maybe there's in other areas there's even more ghosts I can find. But those are all the ghosts I remember anyway. I remember seeing. Hey, I think that's it. Yeah, thingamabob. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's what you do. Well, now that I know... I'm gonna look uh, look for those. Alright, so look for look for the sparklies. Oh, actually, no. There, I guess this is another ghost? I didn't even notice. Here I am, alone as a clam. The one time I invited to a party, I don't know where it is. There you go, here's the map. Oh, I don't believe it. This is a map to top-ass party? You're a real lifesaver, you know that? I better hurry. Sounds like it's gonna be a blast. Alright, there you go. Another ghost down. If I didn't go- I didn't, if, if I didn't come here, you know, I wouldn't have noticed. So there you go. That's lucky. Oh, here you go. You got a doohickey. Alright. Two out of three. And maybe the last one is around here somewhere. Here we go. Give me that. I got the whatchamacallit. There you go. Alright, so that's all the little, like, items I could get for the TV girl. That she wanted. I don't know if it's worth it. Because I feel like this is, a, this is like an old side quest, really. I feel like you're supposed to meet her, like, a long time ago. Like, I, I specifically missed her because she was kind of hard to get to. It is a classic RPG thing, though, to, like, find a hidden path behind a wall. Anyway, I got your stuff, TV girl. Now, give me... Unlimited power. Oh sweet, you found everything on my list. I should ask random people for favors more often. Do 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 do. Do. Okay. Do do. do. I don't know. Is she singing something? Do 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 do. I don't know what, she, what this is referencing to, or maybe it's just nothing. She's just humming. Okay. And. Voila! She created coffee. Ah, that hits the spot. My old coffee machine broke like forever ago, but I've been too busy to gather the missing parts. Now this new one's all fixed up, I don't have to drink that gross instant coffee crap anymore. Here's a little something hel uh, for helping me out. You got dynamite. <laughs> okay, good. We have the power of explosions. Now, if y'all will excuse me, I have some important business to attend to. Alright, there you go. Can I get some coffee? C -c -c Congratulations! Your coffee is ready! You are now brewing coffee. It'll be ready after the commercial break. Okay. I have to wait, I guess, maybe, to get more cups of coffee. Dang, all they've been showing lately is reruns. When is something new gonna show up? I don't know. Mumble Jumbo. TV girls too busy watching TV. Who watches TV these days? You watch, uh... You watch Twitch streams instead. No, um... Well, I got a dynamite. I assume that does a lot of damage. Right? Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Um, yeah, that reminds me, uh, yeah, we got coffee as well. What does coffee do, actually? I don't know what it does, even. I assume it heals up juice or whatever. Uh, oh, there you go, coffee. Bitter bean juice increases a friend's speed. Oh, okay. It's just, it's just like a stat buff. That's all it is. I mean, I don't know how good that is. I mean, maybe if I really need Kel to go really fast for extra damage and also to go first, maybe I would give him some coffee. Mm. There you go. So we did that. So at least we've done the one side quest that I've been uh, neglecting. So... Yeah, I, I guess that's it. Let's go back to uh, Orange Oasis. You know, let's do that. Um, 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 um. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I should be doing? I don't, I don't think so. I don't know if I've missed anything else. There's obviously the one where you kill a bunch of bunnies, but that's like an ongoing thing. 
Mm, so yeah, let's go back to Orange Oasis. I'm technically still doing... I'm still on like a side thing, really. Because in order to really progress the game, I gotta go back to Deep Well, but we'll do that later, you know? I wanna explore this first, because I really feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, you know? I mean, it's like three days, as far as I know, anyway. I already, like, Sunny already slept on the second day, so there's only one more day left, so I don't know if he'll go back to sleep, you know? I have no idea, so I want to do as much as I can before we, uh, you know, continue too far ahead, and then I can't go back, you know? I can buy these things, though, so some waffles. I'll buy some waffles. Waffle or pancakes? Oh, <laughs> waffles designed to hold syrup, but pancakes are not designed to hold syrup. That's the downside, but they both heal the same heart anyway. You know what, people? Do? Yeah, there's sometimes there's just a debate whether a waffle or a pancake is better. To me, I, I don't know. I guess I like pancakes slightly better. Because uh, even though uh, pancakes are not designed to hold syrup necessarily, it's... I don't know, it's just better for the roof of my mouth. Maybe I'm just eating like really hard waffles, but like because the waffles have ridges to them, it kind of hurts the, the top of my mouth, you know? Or like the inside, the roof of my mouth. I like a pancake because it's like softer, I guess, just flatter. So it's just easier to eat, I don't know. I guess I'll buy some. Um, some berry smoothies, sure. I'm so, I'm so pretty cheap, <laughs> only buying a few things. I uh, fix anger on all friends. Sure, why not? I'll just buy two of them because it's here. It's right here, and I'll buy like one life jam just because. All right, I'm just keeping on the rest of my clams though. Never spend any of it. What's it say? Galapots gastropod. Today's special: orange juice, pea soda, and milk. Oh yeah, you can buy it from there. All right, let's see. Well, the last time I was here, I was thinking of going inside Dino's Digs. So let's go inside here. I was wondering if there's like a big place or anything. Seems like it. Oh, nuts. I'm one dino dollar shy from a silver spoon. Dino dollars. It's like a, it's like an arcade place where you can like earn like tickets or whatever. You can buy a plastic spoon for 10 digs for three dino dollars. A wooden spoon for 15 digs and a silver spoon for 20 digs. Hmm. Welcome to Dino Shop. According to my log, it says you have a total of a zero dino dollars. If you want to buy a spoon, just point out to me and I'll help you out. Hmm. I don't have any dino dollars though. So, hello? Can I talk to you? No? I was trying try to interact. It's not, it's not working. Hmm. Hey there, little adventurers. Welcome to Dino's Dig. I'm Dino, the founder of Dino's Dig. I'm... Uh, Dig Doug, Doug, what was his, what's the guy from that cartoon? Doug Dimmodome, the owner of Dimmodome, Dig, I don't know, anyway. Um, are you hungry for treasure? Are you ready to have a spoonful of adventure? If so, you come to the right place. Here at Dino's Dig, we have created the ultimate treasure hunting adventure, which you can experience for the low price of 100 clams. Are you ready to enjoy the fun and excitement of digging for treasure? Nah. Oh, what's the matter? I thought you were the adventurous type. Well, I was wondering if we need to buy a spoon, though. I don't know. We can't buy a spoon. We don't have any dino dollars, though. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna talk to the rest of the you people first. I gotta talk to Chad. Wow, it's Chad. The food pyramid has a knack for finding lost things. Ancient artifacts. All relics lost in time. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> okay. Are you screaming at me? Is that, I guess the Peridacto is screaming at me? Strange artifacts, eh? Mm. You know, these these are like eyeballs, you know? Which in turn remind me of another game that's very similar to this game, actually. Um, is, uh, what's it called? It's N-Roll, you know? By Segawa, I believe? I, I played that game. It has a very similar uh, concept, you know? It goes in a different direction, though, I feel like. But I guess we'll see, I don't know. Actually, I haven't finished Amori, so I have no idea what, if, how it ends, you know. The treasures are on display here from all over the world. I want to travel around the world someday. Mm. The last time I tried Dano's Dig, I found lots of amazing treasure. But this time I tried Dano's Dig, I just found some granola bars. Mm. Okay, fine. I guess I'll try it out. I don't have a, a like a spoon, though, but... 
I feel like you should get a spoon. Dinotastic. Okay. Good. Good walking animation. Alright, kiddos. First things first. Here at Dino Digs, or Dino's Dig, we dig with spoons. Since you don't have a spoon, I'll give you a potato spoon for free. Got a potato spoon. Okay. Choose which spoon you like to use. Okay, potato spoon. There you go, right on, brother. You're a quick learner, aren't you? In our special dig site, the Food Pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad treasure from all over the universe. And the best part is, you get to keep anything you find. That's a dino guarantee. Hmm. I heard of those, actually. In real life, there are, like, dig sites you can go to where, like, you keep whatever you get or whatever, and sometimes people do, like, find diamonds or whatever, you know? But obviously, that's rare. Let me tell you about our dig site. The food pyramid has four levels. You'll always start on the first level, but if you're lucky, you might just find a pyramid key that unlocks the pyramid gate to the next level. The higher you go, the better the treasure will be. And here is the catch. Each spoon has a limited amount of uses before it breaks. For example, potato spoons will break after you dig five times. If your spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends. The pyramid gates close and we'll call you back to the entrance. You understand everything I've said so far? Yes. Dino-tastic. And now it's time for our dino disclaimer. Treasure isn't the only thing you'll find in the food pyramid. During your round, you might find some troublesome critters looking for a fight. We aren't liable for any damages to you or your property during your adventure. Dig, so you die here, don't sue us. Haha. <laughs> if a critter knocks you out during battle, it'll be a real game over. As, as if you literally die. Well, that's pretty much it. All that's left for you to do is go up these stairs, smell the sweet food pyramid air, and start digging. Have a dino-tastic adventure. Okay. I can, like, dig anywhere, I guess? Like, literally anywhere, or what? I don't know. Bunch of bread around here. I mean, I don't know if there's, like, uh, a strategy necessarily. If you just dig anywhere? I don't know. Oh, here's a monster. It's a SS snake. A strawberry snake? Do a little AoE damage, kaboom. What does the SS sound sound for? I don't know. Maybe strawberry, right? But then why, why is there another S? Sweet strawberry, maybe? Short strawberry? Strawberry shortcake? I don't know. Uh, he needs to heal up. Um, don't die, cow. I need you to live so you get XP. Me. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I didn't mean to cook again. Just kind of spam the attack button. I was happy now. Not too bad you're dead. Not so happy now, huh? Not so happy now. Uh, Alright, let's, let's dig here, I guess. I found Hector? Oh, what the heck? What the Hector? That was lucky, I guess. I don't know if this is like uh, pre-generated or something like that, but I, I guess we finally found Hector. I was wondering where he was. You end up over here? Oh, Hector! Could it be? It's really you! Come on, Hector. Back into my pocket you go. It'll just be like old times. That that that. Ah, uh, Kel, my old friend. I am so sorry. I'm afraid things have changed, and I can no longer accompany you. You see, I've learned to talk. I have a family now. Wait, Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are you saying that you want to join them? There, that there's more to life than just staying here. Oh, Hector Jr. I... I understand you well. Even this old stone knew how to have fun once. May all, you all have memorable adventures together. Go and join him, Hector Jr. 
into his pocket. You got Hector Jr. <coughs> I'm just so surprised that I just being coughing. I guess it's just so it's just so it's just so uh, it's just so beautiful. I guess I don't know. Anyway. <coughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, just like that. I guess this is farewell then. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, Cal. Hector Jr., you be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We're always here for you. I hope that the next time we meet, you'll have flourished into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take I'll take good care of Hector Jr. I know you will, Kel. Just don't lose him this time, all right? I won't. I promise. Okay. How does a rock like make a family? Anyway, I guess I got uh, Hector Jr. Though. That's the end of that quest. The suspenseful conclusion to the Hector side quest. Uh, can talk, but is very shy. Stats increase with more energy. Hmm. Less speed, more attack, more defense, more luck, though. You know what? Canonically, it just makes sense. You know, so them thematically, I just I gotta have him equip Hector Jr., you know? Follow your dreams, brother. <laughs> Hector Jr. And also Heather, who will always be proud of you, son. Hector Jr., you be good. Alright, well, I guess that's that. I guess the way to- okay, so the way to dig is to just like- Yeah, you can't dig anywhere, you have to dig on these objects, I guess. I got ramen. Hmm. Ramen again? How many digs? I have like three, uh, two digs left. I guess. Oh, I can't dig these. Okay, so I have to dig specific spots. So like these, I guess. A dino dollar. Hmm. A singular dino dollar, eh? Oh, what's this? A bun bunny. Good. Actually, do a headbutt. Murder. Kill. Smash the burger. Attack again. Kill it. Come on. Nope. That reminds me, actually. You know, when I was ordering McDonald's, I, I think I mentioned it before, but I ordered McDonald's recently. You know, I got like a water bottle or whatever. It's like, or it's like, well, it's confusing. When you say water bottle, there's like obviously a water bottle which I have in front of me. You know, a refillable water bottle, but also like a you know like a plastic water bottle. But anyway, I've noticed some one of the options is to get like a Big Mac without like the without the patty you know that's just weird to me that's what it reminds me of you know the, the the bunny the bun bunny or whatever i don't know that's just an option i guess you just get get it without any meat i guess if you just like bread <laughs> and like the sauce i guess i don't know it just seems weird anyway i got an ancient cult though what's an ancient cult i have no idea i don't know another spoon bites the dust though big spoon down that's game over to find lots of cool treasure, I hope you enjoyed your dino tastic adventure. I guess that's that. Um, I guess I want to get another spoon. Well, I don't know. Are the, are the spoons reusable or are they just like per spoon, you know? Once you use up the spoon, it's gone forever. So I don't know how that works. But uh, I got an ancient code. What's that? A mysterious code. Hmm. I, I don't understand, <laughs> to be honest. One, two, three, four, and a bunch of like rectangles. It's code for something, I guess. You know, my first guess is like if you leave from if you read from top left to bottom right, it'd be like I like if you replace all you know replace all the rectangles with like a letter, it could be like I am the something. I don't know, maybe not. Then again, there'd be apostrophe. I don't know if that's apostrophe. Anyway, can I play again though? I wonder. Ok, 
Okay, noodles. I only have like a potato spoon though. How much does the plastic spoon cost? Yeah, three. I only have one dino dollar, so. I get more dino dollars. Potato spoon. I got the potato spoon. It's made out of potatoes, you see. Alright, all interesting. So the ones I've already dug out, uh, already count. So, okay. So it's kind of like, in a way, it really is just like, you're just grinding it out, you know? You know yeah. At the end of the day. So like, uh, eventually you get everything if you just simply spend enough time. Maybe. And a dino dollar. Chocolate! 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 And another spoon bites the dust. And it might be better, once you have enough dino dollars, you simply just spend it on, uh, on a better spoon, you know? I have six dino dollars, okay. Sure, I'll buy- I'll buy the wooden spoon. Just buy a better spoon as soon as you can get the money, so you can, like, get even more treasure per run. And then, you know, exponent to just get more dino dollars and keep going until... ...you get everything, I guess. Hmm. I don't like the fact that you go through this dialogue every single time, though. I don't know how long I'll spend on this, actually. I don't know, I- I can try to get everything. It'll take a bit, <laughs> I feel like. I'll do one more, and maybe I'll come back, or maybe do it on my own time. I could do it, I could do it off screen, maybe. I don't know. Then again, I don't want to miss anything, you know. If there's a, like if there's anything important, like cutscenes or anything, you might get. Uh, I I don't want to like like not record it, you know. True headbutt. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Cut Aubrey so we can heal up a little bit. Let's go, Aubrey! Go, go, go! It's loafing around, eh? Hand emoji, I guess. That's like literally the hand emoji. Cal learned tickle. He learned to tickle people. Uh, let's see. All attacks on the foe will hit right in the heart for the turn. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Is it like when a foe is like sad, you know? They sometimes get some of the damage uh, reduced by their juice, but instead of doing that, it just goes directly to their heart. But I don't know, I don't know how that works. Because what they have high defense? You know like the muscle uh, enemies? Is it a, Are they affected by tickle or is it something else? I don't know, I don't know what that means, you know? Ah, uh, whatever. Dino Dollar. This chicken wing. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh. Okay. Fine. You're just one guy anyway, so I'm gonna murder you. I'll murder you real quick. Uh. Headbutt. I'm gonna flex. Actually, I don't flex very often. I only flex during boss fights, but maybe I should just flex during, uh, normal battles as well. Because if we're not one-shotting these enemies, we might as well spend a turn to flex anyway. Heal her up a little bit. Oh, 
Bum, 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 bum. Lamb. I could spend like all day here, you know, I get like get a lot of so much XP and clams and like items. Dino dollar. You know, it pays for itself, you know. Eventually we might get a key, I guess, it allows us to go to the next stage. I don't know. Just, just run away because I want to just get that last one over here. Thank you. Dino dollar. Oh, I still have more durability, I guess. Ah! Oh, I the first time I couldn't get away. Okay, so there is a chance that you can't get away. All right, fine. You made me angry now, so I must destroy you. You will die. You will die now. You prevent me from running away, so therefore you will die. Somehow the snake is so fast enough that it will chase us despite... I mean, I don't know, I guess snakes are pretty fast, depending. I was gonna say the snakes are pretty fast despite having no legs, but I mean... Doesn't mean that snake can't be... can't like slither very fast, I guess. Nani. I became happy again, therefore my shun ability doesn't do much damage. Or actually did a lot of damage, what the heck? It was actually very powerful. <laughs> hmm. I guess sad, well sad does beat like, uh, happiness. I forgot about that. Not another battle. At least these are new. Porcupine? Porcupines. Hmm. Good. I'm gonna make you sad. Well, I'm gonna use, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use wind up throws. Rebound. And you will simply just attack, I guess. Mm, these enemies seem tough. Or at least tougher. Nothing! No damage at all? Ow. These guys are tough. Uh... I'm gonna shun this one. Mm, snack time. Everybody heal up a little bit. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I guess that... Oh, it worked out. I was gonna say her, like, AoE attack kind of missed because the other enemy already died. Uh, Aubrey learned Last Resort. <laughs> That's also a location in Dream World. Also Dazzle. This is my last resort! Or something. Actually, I don't know. Is there, like, a song that had lyrics like that? Something about being in the last resort. I don't know. Uh, deals damage based on Aubrey's harm, but Aubrey becomes toast! Whoa! That's, like, uh, interesting. Obviously something you wouldn't want to use normally. And I don't know if you want to use it during boss fights either, because... I don't know. Unless you have something that, like, automatically revives her somehow. I, I don't know if I want to use that, you know? That's like a big... That's a big attack. Uh, let's see. Dazzle. Axe first. Reduces all foes attacks and makes them happy instead. I don't know. This is interesting too. Hmm. What you could do is, like, make everybody happy and then use Amori to, like, you know, kill everyone, basically, because make him sad. Sabby's happy. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know, anyway. Dino Dollar. Dino Dollar. Oh, and that's it. Another spoon bites the dust. Another spoon bites the dust. Alright. Um... Well, let's go back and heal up. Man, I do actually want to do more, though. <laughs> it's kind of addicting. Uh, well, I at least want to heal up. Luscious candy apples. Nom nom nom.
I've never actually eaten candy apples. I've seen them before. I don't know how tasty they would be. It wouldn't just be apples. It would just be an apple, right? I mean, there's like obviously some some sauce, I guess, some like candy sauce or something, caramel or whatever, outside of the apple. But I imagine inside is just an apple, right? So, I don't know. I don't find that all that uh, interesting because you might as well just eat an apple. I don't know. Unless maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I have no idea. It could be that the entire apple is made out of candy. Maybe that's why it's called candy apple. I don't know. But what do I know? Alright, let's see. Um, man, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Because there's more to explore up top and... Yeah, let's mix it up, you know? Let's try to mix it up and do something else. I mean, there's nothing there. I saw there was a direction to go up. Was there something on the top left, actually? Let me double check. Was there something over here? Can't remember. Hmm. Oh, it's just a telescope. Yeah. Hey, yeah, did I talk to you? Oh yeah, that's the, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I only just got it, but that was the really tall dinosaur we saw in the actual pyramid. Can we talk to it, though? Hello? Oh, there you go. It's kind of a weird perspective. Howdy ho! Uh, howdy ho, youngins! Y'all mind doing me a favor? I need to scratch an itch for me. It's on my bottom, so I can't really get to it. Ugh, it's just absolutely killing me. Alright, well, we were just there. So I might as well go back. Scratch, scratch. I scratched Scott's butt. Ah, much better. Alright. I guess I'll go back, and maybe Scott will reward me for my time of scratching his butt, his Maximus Gluteus, his, his buttocks. Hey, you must be the kids who scratched my itch. What a huge relief. Here, take this. We actually have too many of these things. I'm sure it'll come in handy one way or another. A hard hat. Oh, interesting. Stay, sa uh, stay safe, kids. I really can't thank you enough. Go, another side quest down. Hard hat. I assume that gives you defense, right? Uh, plus six defense. Oh, it's actually not that great. Hmm. Didn't I have something that had like plus seven defense or whatever? I think I did. Yeah, a rubber duck. A rubber duck is better. Is that better though? I don't know. The inner tube, it, it, it does say like it's more defense the more energy you have, so. I don't know. I don't know what's better. Is it better to have like a flat defense or is it better to have like scaling defense, you know? <laughs> no idea. Hmm. Right, okay. So there's, there's a path over here. I was wondering what this is this over here. Oh, a person. Hey, uh, what are you doing? My name is Orange Joe and I'm throwing oranges. Wow, so cool. But why? Because... I'm looking for my long-lost twin brother, Orange Joe. Oranga Joe, rather? It's spelled wrong. We were separated at birth, but in my citrusy heart, I know he's still out there somewhere. Each orange is inscribed with a message explaining who I am and how to find me. I'm hoping that by throwing these in all directions, one of them would reach him and leave him back to me. Is that how it works? Ah, oh, that's so sweet. I hope you'll find your brother eventually. Thank you, young lady. I know I will. My body is healthy and full of hope and vigor. But, just in case, if you do happen to see my twin, give him this orange, uh, orange crest. I know it will lead, him, uh, lead me to him somehow. Got orange crest? Gotta find his, like, twin brother, Orange Joe or something? Fear not, my dear friend, Orange Joe. We'll find your brother for sure. Okay, Orange Joe. That's like Kel's favorite drink, you know, in, in Sunny's world. Orange pool. Got some orange juice in his orange pool. Good. Where does it come from? Does it come from his body? He's drinking his blood? Well, we got a blood orange, though. Well, not important. Uh, equip. So, what's a blood orange? Uh, mm -hmm. Is it a... Oh, is it a weapon, maybe? Could be a weapon. A 
throwing oranges at people. Yeah, there you go. Blood orange. A red orange. Uh, very high juice. Slightly less attack. Definitely less speed, though. So I don't know how much I like it. Yeah. Mm, that's okay. I don't need the juice. Photo of an orange like creature. And orange bed. Or glass of juice. That is orange. Uh, orange lantern. Orange notes written on them. To my dear brother uh, Orangne Or Joe, I hope this message finds its way to you. Please come home. Yeah, and the same thing, I guess. Yeah. All right, I guess that's it. It's just Orange Joe's home. I thought it was gonna be something different, but I guess that's that's all. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's it. I thought that was gonna be like a whole thing, you know, a whole path to somewhere else. But let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, there's a watermelon actually. Right. Life jam. A yellow swing set. Smells like bananas. Oh yeah, there was this thing. Um, I guess I'll... Let's see what happens. Ah! I'm dead. Uh-oh. Um... Alright, well, the signs are telling me to go this way, and go over here, and... Oh, bunch of bread. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> the silly music is playing. Tell me to go to the right, but I refuse. I will go here instead. You should have listened. No. Kotowaru, get me out of here. Ah, no. I guess not. Oh, Nani. Ginger dead man. Oh. Actually, let's do. Oh, I don't know what's better. What is one from? Line up from rebound and attack. Right in the heart. Hmm. You know, right in the heart. Maybe that that means like it's a critical hit. Is that what it means? Because that's what uh, one of the skills that was it Kellen that he had. Is that what it means? It's hard to tell you know, what the mechanics mean, but. I guess that's what rally means, right? Rally... No, 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 that's energy. What was it? It was... Oh, it was tickle. Yeah, tickle. Uh, tickle... I guess it, it makes it so all your attacks are critical hit. Critical hit. That, that's interesting. Use a lot of juice, though, so I don't know if it's worth it. It's, I mean, probably for, like, a boss or something. Also, toast ghost? Toast ghost? Uh-oh. Spooky. Oh no, my juice. Um, 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 um. Not like XP. These guys are pretty weak, relatively speaking. It is annoying that they took some juice off, though. to go but except follow the arrows boop, 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 boop. Mm, we could go that way or we can go this way <laughs> you know or we can ignore these instructions and go the other way like a true gamer you should have listened no okay fine we're gonna fight some monsters probably if we, if we go the wrong way I always like Summons monsters, most likely. There you go. Ah, run away! Ah, ah, hey. Get wrecked. Oh, wait, oh, ah. But one of these days, it, the game is going to reward me for my persistence. All right, for my stubbornness. So therefore, every time there's another way to go, I will go the other way, which is probably this way. No, that is correct. It does. Hmm. In that case, what's this way? Oh, okay. <laughs> they tr they're trolling me now. Sorry, couldn't resist. Alright, monsters. Yep. Run away. Yeah. 
Ah, ah, damn it. Okay, fine. Now let's just do an AoE attack like this. Ah, boom. Tell dunks on the foes with style. I keep wasting Obby's juice <laughs> by doing the AoE attack when you don't really need to. Oh well. Ooh, he learned Final Strike? Already? You're only like level 35. We think you learned the Final Strike when you're level 99 or something. A Final Strike strikes all foes, deals more damage if Amori has a higher stage of emotion. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um... You know what? I'm gonna put, like, Final Strike over here. Uh, are we gonna fight a boss or something, I wonder, soon? I wonder if this, this is like a dungeon that we're gonna fight a boss or something, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Let's put it there for now. You know what? Actually, I wanna heal up Aubrey's juice real quick. Now, uh, let's see. Any juice healing stuff? Got some plum juice. This is like very low healing, but might as well use it. Items I haven't used for such a long time. In my pocket. Alright. And you did it! Good for you. You win. The reward is over here. Just leave. Is that it? Oh. Thought that was gonna be a boss fight or something, but no. We just we we just leave. That's all. Okay. Alright, I mean, that's it, I guess. That was just a little detour. I don't know. Anything else? Other than these bunnies? Let me just double check. Any, any other ways to go? We had to go over here. Alright, what's over here? Toast? 